Do you feel like you're ready for a relationship right now? Or do you think you might need more time? It's normal to desire that special connection with someone and the support that comes with a romantic relationship. However, you may feel like you're not ready for the commitment just yet. Social psychology research published in the journal Personality and Social Psychology Bulletin suggested that readiness for a romantic relationship is influenced by a variety of factors, including past experiences, personality, and societal expectations. Relationship expert Samantha Joel emphasizes that there is no right or wrong time to begin dating, as everyone's journey is different. With that said, here are some signs that you're not ready for a relationship, even though you want one. Number one, you have unrealistic expectations. How can you approach relationships in a way that is fair to both yourself and your partner? It's important to recognize that having unrealistic expectations can be harmful not only to you, but also to your partner. The book, The Science of Relationships, answers to your questions about dating, marriage, and family, highlights that unrealistic expectations can lead to disappointment, hurt feelings, and even resentment towards your partner. In romantic relationships, we all have certain expectations and it's normal to have those. You wouldn't want to be with someone who doesn't meet your needs and wants, right? However, your expectations can only be unrealistic if you force it on someone who isn't willing to meet them. It's important to recognize that having unrealistic expectations can put unnecessary pressure on the relationship and create tension and stress for both partners. Successful relationships require effort and compromises from both partners, not just one. Instead of having unrealistic expectations of your partner, approach relationships with a realistic and open mindset. It's important to remember that healthy expectations in relationship are possible when communicated peacefully. If you find that your expectations are not being met, it's important to assess whether the person you're with is still compatible with you. Clinical psychologist, Dr. Seth Myers reminds us that there is no such thing as a perfect person or relationship. Communication, compromise, and dedication from both partners are necessary for a healthy and fulfilling relationship. Remember that relationships are not a solution to personal problems, and that a partnership based on mutual respect and understanding is key to success. Number two, You've not fully addressed your personal issues. Are you struggling with personal issues like low self-esteem, anxiety, or depression? If so, it's important to address these issues before jumping into a new relationship. According to clinical psychologist, Dr. Seth Myers, unresolved personal issues can make it difficult for us to trust others, communicate effectively, and establish emotional intimacy with our partners. Not only that, but these issues can also lead you to project your insecurities onto your partner or become overly dependent on them for your happiness. But don't worry, there are steps you can take to work on resolving these personal issues. Seeking therapy, practicing self-care, and developing healthy coping mechanisms can all be helpful in the healing process. By taking time to work on yourself and becoming emotionally healthy, you can enter into relationships with a stronger sense of self-awareness and confidence, which can ultimately lead to healthier and more fulfilling relationships. If you find this video relatable and helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now, moving on to the next point. Number three, you're still emotionally attached to your ex. Have you ever found yourself still thinking about an ex when you're trying to move on? Or maybe you find yourself comparing new partners to your ex. If so, it's important to take a step back and ask yourself if you're truly ready for a new relationship. Breakups can be tough and it's okay to feel sad or disappointed, but it's important to be mindful of your feelings and recognize when they start to affect your ability to move on. Dr. Gary Brown, a prominent relationship therapist, suggests that constantly thinking about your ex or comparing new partners to them could indicate that you're not yet emotionally ready for a new relationship. This can prevent you from forming a strong and healthy connection with someone new. After a breakup, taking time to heal and seeking support from friends, family, or a therapist can be helpful. While it's normal to think about your ex constantly thinking about them or feeling intense emotions may suggest that you're not ready for a new relationship just yet. So it's recommended to focus on personal growth and self-care before starting a new relationship. Can you relate to any of these signs? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and share it with your friends and family. We appreciate your support and hope you continue to tune in for more insightful content. Until next time, take care. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Are you looking for a cuddly companion that brings positivity and mental wellness to your daily life? 
get your very own sigh. The lovable plushie is here to brighten your days. It embodies the spirit of Psych2Go, and it serves as a reminder to prioritize your mental well-being. Its green leaf symbolizes growth, renewal, and the importance of self-care, whether it's for yourself or as a thoughtful gift for a loved one. Sai is ready to be your snuggly friend through all of life's ups and downs. Buy your Sai plushie today. Link is listed in the description box.